Welcome. This is Dr. Technology here with your CPOE training video. I am triple boarded in emergency medicine, with a fellowship in secretary order entry, and in nurse discharge instruction selecting. CPOE is here to improve patient safety and make your life easier. You will sleep better at night, have a better relationship with your spouse, and even lose weight. CPOE is very easy. Let us go through the process of putting in orders for a patient with shortness of breath in the emergency department. First, see your patient, examine him or her thoroughly, and come back to your computer and sit down. Open up your patient's chart by double-clicking on his or her name on the tracking board. Then click to open the chart. Click again to add the history. Then you need to click to add orders. Click one more time to open the order sets. Click on the order set you want to open. Click on each lab test that you want to order. Don't forget to select specimen type by clicking on blood. And click to select the labs to be run stat. Next, you will click for a chest x-ray. Then you will click to pick the transportation mode for the chest x-ray. Don't forget to click and type the indication for the x-ray. Now, if you want to order a CAT scan of the chest, you will have to click on that order, and then click to override the alert that will pop up because you do not have your create in results back. If you also want to order an IV, you need to click on IV insertion. And if you want to give normal saline through the IV, you want to type in the letters N and S, and then click to choose which type of saline you want, and click to type the frequency and click again to sign the order. Don't forget to click to refresh the screen. After reviewing your labs and x-ray results, you may need to order antibiotics if the patient has pneumonia. Click on the antibiotic care guides to select the type of antibiotics that you would like to give. Please realize that if your patient has a penicillin allergy, the appropriate antibiotics will not even be present in that care guide and you will have to go on a wild goose chase to find the antibiotics that you have to click on to treat the patient for their illness. Please note that after you finish all of the above steps, you will then have to pick up the phone to call your disability insurance carrier for your carpal tunnel syndrome that you have developed during your CPOE experience. Good luck and thank you for watching.